footballgameplan.com where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, breaking down the Steelers versus the Bengals. Now let's look at Pittsburgh in this game offensively. I would say come in and try to isolate the two safeties of Cincinnati. That's Chris Crocker and that's also Reggie Nelson. These guys are the weak link, not saying that they're playing bad, but they are the weaker spots of the Bengals defense. I would take advantage of these guys and try to get these guys in favorable situations for your offense. What that means is getting Heath Miller involved early or getting Cotri involved early because he's almost like an athletic tight end. Get these guys down the middle of the field, down the scenes, find ways to influence the safeties of the Bengals and that way you can have some success and create more one-on-one -on -one opportunities for Mike Wallace to sprint down the field or Antonio Brown to do his damage underneath. So I would try to get the safeties involved in the passing game. Also, you look at the offense, what you have to come in and do is stick with the ground game. The Bengals are solid against the run, but what you can do is stick with it because the play action pass will work. The play action pass will open up late. You cannot get too pass heavy against the Cincinnati Bengals because they have an outstanding defense. Now, defensively for the Steelers, Ike Taylor, UL Lafayette Raging Cajun himself by way of Swaggin University versus AJ Green, a talented rookie of the Cincinnati Bengals. Ike has to do a, a great job of keeping him busy at the line of scrimmage. I don't think AJ Green has faced a physical corner like Ike Taylor who does a great job of getting bump press, getting his hands on wide receivers. He's going to have to win that matchup throughout the ballgame because that is Andy Dalton's favorite target. And it gives the, if he can take away AJ Green, it gives the Steelers defense opportunities to play games with everybody else on that Bengals offense. Now you look at the Bengals in this game. I look at the tight end, Colin Cotchard. This guy has to be a, a, a huge asset in this ball game. He has to play a huge uh, part in this game. Why? Because if Gresham is going to be out there healthy, all the focus will be on him. Cotchard is going to pull that off coverage. He's going to have to get the football. He's probably going to be the hot read, so he has to have a huge day. And I look for these guys to run more off tackle. The Bengals already do a great job of off tackle running because you can't run on the interior of the Pittsburgh Steelers due to the fact that there's Casey Hampton right there in the middle. You want to run outside. See if James Harrison is back to his Pro Bowl form. Run toward him. Make his biggest strength his greatest weakness by running right at him. So off tackle running should do the Bengals a great job. Now defensively I look at the matchup Pecco versus Pouncey. The Pecco has to win that battle throughout this ball game. If you get interior pressure versus the Pittsburgh Steelers, you effectively shut down what they want to do on offense, and it's going to cut down what Ben Roethlisberger wants to do. Because if you get pressure on the edges, he could easily step up and take off. But if you get pressure on in the interior, that's going to cause a monkey wrench. And what they want to do on offense is going to stop the run, and it's also going to put Ben Roethlisberger in a situation where he's going to have to pass from on the move and everything like that and the coverage breaks down so Pecco has to win that battle also defensively keep a safety over top Mike Wallace wherever he lines up keep a safety over top and you can have some success you get a chance to win defensively x-factor for the Pittsburgh Steelers Dick LeBeau you're facing a rookie quarterback he has to confuse this guy like he's done all rookie quarterbacks throughout his amazing career and x-factor for the Bengals has to be Cedric Benson he's going to be the calming force for this offense he's going to be the reason why I believe the Bengals win this ball game. I like what the Bengals bring to the table. They're a scrappy bunch, and no one's talking about the Bengals defense being one of the top defenses in the league. For more NFL previews, visit footballgameplan.com slash NFL, or visit our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash footballgameplan. And listen to the Football Game Plan radio show, which airs Saturdays, 11 a.m. Eastern time at blogtalkradio.com slash footballgameplan.